to download uh, the client installer you can go to the analytics home okay scroll down and in BI publisher desktop tools you can click on uh, the three options BI client installer uh, template builder for word which you can download okay it will take you again to the the download <coughs> URL of BI publisher from the Oracle site itself there you can click on downloads and this is the the BI publisher version is 11 point uh, 1.9 1.9 here you have the option of Oracle desktop BI publisher 32 bit office on Windows which you can download and that will download you one EXC uh, like I'll show it to you it like this BI publisher desktop 32 okay so you can uh, double click on it yes yeah, so once you uh, click on that it will show the installation wizard for you you have to uh, continue on that right and it will uh, install on the uh, in the your C program files 86 folder in my case it's already installed so I'll get an error that it's already installed but in your case uh, it will be like uh, complete wizard installation normal installation wizard where you select the installation folder and all once the installation is done successfully you can open the Microsoft Office right there you can see at the top there is a new add-in added called as a BI publisher okay so you have different uh, options available under that BI publisher screen now now using this you can design a template but for that you have to first download the sample output from BI publisher right because you need to load that sample output to the template so that you have those fields and field names and everything to drag and drop so what I can do is I can go to my data model again down, but I can go to BI data model again okay um, let me close other windows just to Um, you can click on view data and uh, export the data so I already exported one but let me show you to you so that will export uh, the data into like uh, uh, XLX format sample output okay so XML XML output what you have seen on my uh, folder right now so that option you will get so kind of XML output it will download for you okay so I have this view data now option is one view export it will download me the output here right so I can open that XML uh, it will directly open to the internet explorer instead of that what I can do is go to download folder click right click on that and open it in uh, notepad so let me share I think notepad is not shared with you just in a second let me share the entire desktop itself so I don't need to worry every time okay so do you see my uh, notepad screen right now okay I think it's yes so it's XML output that's what we needed to in the Word document so you can go back to the Word document click on the sample XML select the folder right downloads in my case B, BI demo DM so once I do that now if you click on uh, fields right you will see all the fields are available here party name account number identifier based on the sample what we uploaded to this then I can maybe create a table right I'll create a, a table next next 
in that table I need party name, account number, identifier, account name. Right? Finish. Your entire table is ready now, your template is ready now. Even I can select a repeating group, right? Here this entire options is this entire data set is going to repeat based on G1. So I can select G1 and say OK. You can page do the page break. There are a lot of additional features available. And I can see the output here itself. PDF, save. It shows me the output. You don't need to even create the report. It can show me the sample output based on the sample data what we uploaded and not the actual output right so these are different options available for you here which you can use to develop this template this is a very tem simple template I've shown it to you but you can create the check formatting template like that different kinds of template you can create from here but uh, if you want to just need a sample CSV output uh, or you want to give just a CSV output as a, as, a, as input to the external system then best you use Excel template right I can open Microsoft Excel, click on this. There also I have BI Publisher option available here right now. I can upload the sample uh, uh, there, click on fields and all those fields are available for me. Okay. So for our demo purpose, I have created a Excel template. Let me open that and show it to you what I did right bi demo sample template uh, 2 open with microsoft so this is the template which I created so this is if you look at the field name right at the top corner this is xdo underscore question mark xdo field 1 that is coming from your field browser right if you in the field browser you can look for those names different names right and I have that is actually your party name which is mapped to your XML data upload what we uploaded and now you can select the once you select the individual fields you can select that entire row and then you can group that you can select the group right so it will group that entire field because my output if you look I am opening the notepad again right if you look at the output right it's grouped based on G1 G1 has three columns G2 has three columns like that it it is grouped underscore G1 so you have to group like that but in CSV format uh, uh, frankly telling it doesn't matter but if you want to break or repeat the output right for uh, I want to show each B1 on one page you can club entire data set under one B and then make a grouping based on that so that option is available for you so any questions on template before we go ahead and develop the report? Okay. So now once the template is ready, what I can do is I can again click on create report. Okay, this time I will not select the wizard. Okay. I will directly use the template whatever available. So I can cancel this, okay, and I can upload the report directly from output from here. Okay, it's slow. Okay. So meantime, I'll show you whatever I already developed till the time it loads, right? So this is actually let me show it to you. So this I have already uploaded, right? So um, okay. So you have to save the report under in the same folder. You can add a name, whatever name you want to add, and you can save the report, right? Once you save the report, uh, it will ask you option to upload it. Once you click on the upload you have to give the layout name choose the file whatever the layout you have developed in my case it is going to be sample template 2 type would be excel excel template in my case because i have developed the template using excel local is going to be your english right if you not a translation we are doing here you can define english 
and click on upload. Once you click on upload, what you see is this is the layout which is created for us. Okay. So here in the output format, you can select what output format you're looking for. As I develop this layout using Excel template, only three options I get. But if I develop it using Word or Word template, I get option of PDF, HTML, all more options there, right? So here I want to develop the output, uh, the report only to generate the data in a CSV format. So I select it as a data as a CSV. Click on save. That's your report is ready. I can view report directly click on here apply the parameter and see the output sample output okay so this is the sample output in CSE format the same I can download also export in CSV. So this is your sample output is ready.